Hey everyone. Video today is on the restrictions that are intentionally put on the boom circuit of a front end loader. Now, example here, I've got mocked up. This is gonna be uh, similar to what you see on a one series John Deere, two series, probably any of the John Deere tractors with front end loaders. Um, I don't know if some of the larger tractors have it. Ada can confirm as the one series, two R series um, have those because those are the tractors that I own. But um, the whole point of having a restriction is, as you might imagine, whenever you're going up on the loader, uh, you're, you're pushing against a weight, so you don't need any type of restriction. But if you've got a thousand pounds in your loader hanging off the front end, off the forks or whatever, and you open the valve for it to go down, all of that pressure is gonna push the fluid even faster through uh, the circuit and potentially go down faster than you want. So I think this is, this is for functional use, uh, probably first, but also for safety. Um, I know when I had my 2210, uh, I had done some research and found out, hey, there's some restriction in the loader circuit. I took it out. Uh, and I quickly found out why it was in there. Um, I picked up a load of sand, you know, probably somewhere around 600 pounds, 800 pounds. I don't, I don't know how much it was, but I'll tell you, it came down so fast that when it stopped, the back tires came off the ground. Of course, that was before I knew a lot about ballast, or I was actively learning about ballast and uh, decided I wanted to put it back in. But for, until I learned how it worked, uh, I always kind of questioned, um, whether or not I should have it in there or not because I felt like it was slowing things down. Uh, fun fact, it is not slowing anything down uh, as you move up, assuming it is installed correctly. So what I've got here is, you know, it's a mock-up of, we'll say the one series or two series. And this uh, hose here, if fluid comes from the tractor and goes in, then the boom will go up. If fluid comes from the tractor and goes in here, the boom will go down. Now, obviously when fluid comes in here, it's gonna go out there, it's a closed circuit. So on the bottom, on the one series, the bottom outermost quick connect, you're gonna have this additional, um, it's basically an adapter. And inside that adapter, you have a brass orifice. Now, uh, what's interesting about this brass orifice, and if, you're, if you haven't seen it before, it's got a hole all the way through it, of course, so fluid can flow through. But if you turn it on its side here, you can see that it's got a cutout that goes all the way through, and I don't know how big that is. It looks like about 3 sixteenths, not quite a quarter. Um, another thing that's interesting about it is it's hexagonal, right? So, uh, you know, why wouldn't they just make it round? They took the effort to make this hexagonal or have flat sides on it. Um, you're not screwing it into anything. Now it does kind of look like a, a carburetor jet, but there are no threads anywhere. So this, you know, if you were just to look at this, you picked it up off the ground, you'd think, well, kind of looks like a carburetor jet, but no, no threads on this side, but it looks like it has this big hole back gap that would be uh, too big for a screwdriver. So, you know, what's it for and how's it work? So here's how it works. Uh, and this is the, the uh, boom down circuit. So you apply fluid through this circuit, it will make the boom go down. And when it does, this, this uh, brass orifice is gonna be pushed up against here. And because of that seal, there's no way for uh, fluid to go through anywhere except that little hole. And that's good because as it goes through that little hole, it's gonna slow down. And whenever you bring your boom down, if it's got a lot of weight on it, it's going to go slower and even if it doesn't have weight on it it's going to go slower now part of the reason i thought about doing this you know other than have having read it online the thing that's kind of brought it front of mind is i've been testing a uh a really high flow one series pump and one of the challenges i have is because of this orifice when i try to go down uh at, at high throttles it actually pulls the tractor down. It sounds like it's, you know, lugging it. So that's no good. Uh, and I started working on this so that that's part of the, the reason uh, you're seeing this video today. But so this direction has a problem, but 
if it goes the other direction, as you can see here, let me get it straightened out, have it in right, a couple things. One, I mentioned it's hexagonal, so you can, let me see if I can show this to you, you can see there's gaps here, and it's also uh, it's loose in there. I mean, you have to trust me on that. So what it does is it allows fluid to flow around the orifice, and when it goes around it, it finds its way through into this gap. And because that gap is so big, you don't um, have any restriction when the fluid goes this direction. The other thing I'll point out is within this adapter, it's really hard to see, that's not a flat surface like it is here. So even if you were to put this in backwards, I think you would run into a bit of a challenge. You know, it just won't work exactly the same. Now, I'll make this point, if anybody's pulled theirs out, you wanna make sure, and this thing is like buttered toast, if you try to drop it in like this, every time, that one's a little better than others, it is gonna to try to go the wrong way. So you're gonna to have to intentionally put it the correct way and then put it back together here. So that's it. That is how the one-way orifice works on, uh, on your loader boom cylinder. Now I'll show you while I have you, this is what a two-way restrictor looks like. So um, if you can see, I can barely see the hole in there. So all the fluid, whether it's coming this direction or in this direction, has to flow through this hole. That hole happens to be 47 thousandths. And this is just an inline. So if you have your, um, you have a hose and it's connected, you don't, you would disconnect it. You put this on, oops, put this on, and then now, and then connect it back. And this would, no matter which direction you go, this is good for top links, uh, tilt links, uh, snow blower, um, uh, shoots to point your snow blower because if you don't if you got a lot of flow if you have hydros plus and you got a lot of flow you're probably going to need one of these for a snow blower shoot because uh, if you're if you're using an electro hydraulic solenoid it's going to give it all the juice immediately and it's going to go pop 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 right so um, this one happens to be an o-ring face seal these things come in in all the different threads um, it's good to have these around if you have a John Deere because most of the connections on a John Deere or our O-ring face seal. So that's it. Short video. Thought that would be helpful. Um, certainly if you're looking for more flow on a 1 Series uh, or 2 R or 3 E Series tractor, uh, visit hydrosplus.com. Uh, we've got solutions for both of those that significantly increase the flow, uh, make usability much better, and, uh, and honestly makes the tractor way more enjoyable to, to drive. Um, so visit us there. If you have questions about this, certainly uh, feel free to leave it in a comment below. Thanks for watching.